hello friends welcome back to our channel so what we're going to learn today today we are going to learn recursive functions in python okay so what it is so it's a function it calls itself during its execution or in another words a function is said to be recursive when it can be defined or expressed in terms of itself so what happens is it keeps on calling till the time a particular condition is not met okay so let's see with the examples so first of all what are the advantages so the code is clean but the boundary is required else the program may may run in the loop and what are the disadvantages sometimes it's very difficult to understand the logic so here if you will see in this function it's very difficult to understand what it is doing because i have written the name as factorial i can understand that it's calling a factorial function and sometimes these functions are very expensive and they take up lots of memory and if you will see it's difficult to you can say debug what it's doing okay it's doing multiplication but in case the logic is little complex it's very difficult to you can say follow through it so here if you will see if i will execute it for you can say number three or four it will give me an factorial number so it will say that factorial of four is 24 okay i hope you are aware about this printing practice in case you are not aware do write me in the comment box i will create a video okay same way here what i am doing is i am trying to you can say get the values till zero from a particular number so i am passing the value as countdown four and what it does it returns zero if n is equal to zero as it goes down and prints all the numbers so if you will see it prints the number n whatever it is so i have given four so it starts with four three two one and it keeps on subtracting it's very much similar to this example it was just written and you can see little easy manner for the understanding okay now we will see i am taking the sum of natural numbers so let's say if i will pass the number five it will say it will do a summation of one plus two up to three then five and whatever is the number it's 15 so same way if i will give say four it will say one plus two plus three plus four is equal to you can say 10 okay same way here if you will see i'm giving you can say power fun power oh sorry i'm creating a power function with base and exponent so if you will see i'm giving a base value of 2 and here it's a 2 to the power 4 so let me make it little easy for 3 so 2 to 2 is 4 and 2 into 2 is 8 so it will give the number 8 so here if you will see what i am doing is if i'm just checking if the exponential value is 0 then it will return 1 else what it will do it will return the base value to the uh, you can say power to the base value of 2 and exponent value will keep on subtracting so first 2 then 3 then 1 so that's why it becomes 8 i hope this short video was helpful to you thank you for watching and please subscribe thank you very much